welcome to my channel so i'm here to provide you guys a lock update so i've been locking since december which makes this what uh today's october 26th so this is my 10th month and i have two more months to my one year lock anniversary so i'm excited about that and i feel like i've had a lot of growth and a lot of changes that i've experienced throughout my lock journey whether it was internal or external changes whether i you know put the changes made the changes happen myself or just things happening to my hair that i wasn't sure about but basically it's been a pretty pretty you know easy and effortless effortless process which i really enjoy that's the main reason why i wanted to lock um i still have my one lock back here that's not free form if you guys have any questions about this, I can make a separate video. Um, just ask about it, comment down in the description box. Comment down below. But basically with this lock, I let it hang most of the time. I need to readjust the bead on it actually, because the bead is actually um, like about to come off. The rubber, band, the rubber band is barely holding on, and I just haven't had the time or just didn't feel the need to do it yet, because usually I wear, I wear my hair in a scarf wrapped up and just tuck the, this one lock in it, or I'll just let it like, Stick it in the back of my t-shirt like that if I don't want it to be seen at the moment if I don't want to like have it hanging because right now it's not the cutest in my opinion it's like kind of scraggly if you can see like it it goes really thin which usually I have the bead here because you know the ends of your hair is always thinner anyways so I have the bead like stop here usually but because I don't sleep with the scarf or bonnet on it tends to like fall down and get tugged down but if I don't have my hair wrapped up for me to stick it in or if I don't put this inside of my shirt I usually just you know tuck it behind my ear and you can still see it behind my ear but it just to me it looks cuter because I have like another lock jewelry that people can see when I turn my head and move just like this one up here the one that has the um seven crystals on it the chakra crystal I don't know if you guys can see that hopefully you can see that um, I'm gonna put some pictures of, of how I looked when I started here and then how I, of course, you know how I look now, you guys can compare it, how I look when I started and how I look now. So I'm very happy with my journey. I didn't have any like super critical expectations. It was just, I wanted to have hair that was less manageable, hair that was less expensive than what I was doing before, and hair that I just, um, was more of me, I guess, like not having to worry about going out and buying certain hair to put in my head because, you know, wigs are, wigs are wonderful. I used to love wearing wigs and I probably will still put a wig on every now and then just because I feel like it. But it, the reason why I love wearing it is because it was just easy. You put it on, take it off, put it on, leave it on for a couple of days because I don't want to do my hair and take it off. But at least with this, I can like let my hair breathe and let it do what it wants to do without having to feel like I'm um, trapping it from its growth. Because wigs do help with your hair growth because low manipulation, but having locks is low manipulation, honestly, too. Because I don't do anything. All I do is wash it. Maybe put some oil on it on my scalp every now and then, which oil is essential. I put it on my body, put it on my scalp, and I use coconut oil. Anybody's wondering. But, um, let's see. Questions I guess people have asked um about locks or would want to know about my locks if you have an extra question i don't answer go ahead and put those down i can answer them later on in a separate video but what i wear to sleep when i started my journey was um a scarf or if i didn't wear a scarf like i needed to i would just have a satin um pillowcase and i stopped I stopped using it because it was very hard to keep up with a satin pillowcase. I've gotten a lot of compliments still about my locks um, from guys and from women. Um, there's a guy who works at my gym who asked me about my hair and he was asking like could I do it for him and I was like um, I didn't really do anything to my hair I just kind of started off as just a fro and just separated my hands you know and just went to sleep that night and just made sure when I would wake up like every other day or every three days make sure that I still had the separated sex with no bands no clamps just you know making sure I use my hands to make sure I keep everything separated so I just told him what I did and I told him that he needed more length also because his hair was really short and he had a lot of like really nice texture hair but I just personally said you know I don't know how to make your hair do what my hair did I just kind of let my hair do what it wanted to do so hopefully that advice 
helps him out. But yeah, I definitely get a lot of compliments still with my hair from men and women. Um, let's see. I'm not gonna show you guys a super close up right now because it actually needs to be washed. Like it's itchy right now. Not super itchy, but like some places in my hair I can tell. Like you know how your hair is dirty and your scalp needs to be cleansed. I need to cleanse my scalp for sure. I haven't washed it. Uh, I washed it once since I've been living in Florida. You know, I moved here from Georgia to Florida um, in August. So. This is my lock update. And if you guys have any questions, any comments, you know, comment down below. Like, and for those who are just now joining my lock journey or who have joined recently, welcome. And I hope you guys enjoy. Bye-bye.